Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all the praises, glory, and honor unto Yahuwah, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Arachak Wadash. Dub ones here, the elder apostles and bishops of the great Muslim that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations until the four elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. And I won't try not to make this a long video, but um, it's interesting to see right now how the uh, the Western Alliance is being uh, divided up over Amalek. And now you got some of these European countries that are stepping in and they're um, voicing their recognition for the Palestinian state, which clearly goes against the interests of the Zionists. And we, we know that they don't just believe in an Israeli state, but they believe in the Israeli expansion, which requires, uh, you know, more colonization, bloodshed, you know, removing of uh, boundaries, landmarks, so that they can achieve, you know, their um, their agenda. So uh, you got these European countries that are divided on, you know, the Israeli-Palestine uh, situation. And you also got the ICC that got a warrant out for um, Satan, Satan Yahoo's uh, arrest. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting to see it, you know. And, um, you know, the scriptures talk about um, a kingdom being divided against itself cannot stand cannot stand and if if satan shall cast out satan then uh shall his uh kingdom have an end and uh we're clearly at the end of uh, esau's rule and this is why things are turning out the way they are you know politically ge geopolitically economically etc so uh i'm gonna just play this little clip this is from guardian news all right where they're actually uh you got Ireland, Norway, and Spain recognizing uh, Palestine as an independent state. So let's uh, listen real quick. Today, Ireland, Norway, and Spain are announcing that we recognize the state of Palestine. Each of us will now undertake whatever national steps are necessary to give effect to that decision. And I'm confident that further countries will join us in taking this important step in the coming weeks. This is and, and well, um, interesting enough, we know where America stands, you know, because they've been, they've been the ones that's been aiding, you know, uh, th those Israelis in uh, the taking of uh, Gaza, you know, giving them weapons and uh, ammunition to carry out their objective. But, they're getting pushback from their uh, European allies. They're they're not in agreement with, you know, uh, the Israelis' aggression and you know their whole approach to uh, this colonization. And so, um, you know, they trying to uh, call for peace over there, but we know that that war criminal, he's he's not going to listen. All right, so um, this is causing a wedge. All right, basically a split between Western powers. So we're going to see in, in the coming weeks, you know, what will start to take place. You know, and uh, right now Iran is, uh, is, is grieving. But if, if they are, you know, if they can kind of, you know, keep their ear to what's going on, they can see that, you know, things are looking a little funny, you know, with uh, the Western alliances over this uh, Israel Gaza Palestine thing. All right. And um, who knows if, you know, Israel fell into a trap over this whole thing. But we know that this is not the end of, of it, you know, with those, uh, those Iranians, those Persians. All right. They, they definitely is taking that, uh, the, the death of their president personally. So we're going to see how it's going to be in the summer. I, I, I really believe it's going to be very lit in the summertime. 
is definitely going to go up. So let's uh, listen to the rest of this. An historic and important day for Ireland and for Palestine. Tras haber consensuado la decisión entre los dos partidos que formamos el gobierno de coalición progresista y haciéndonos eco del sentir mayoritario del pueblo español, el próximo martes 28 de mayo España aprobará en su Consejo de Ministros el reconocimiento al Estado de Palestina. Y si tengo algo claro es que el primer ministro Netanyahu no tiene un proyecto de paz para Palestina. Luchar contra el grupo terrorista Hamas es legítimo y necesario después de lo acontecido el pasado 7 de octubre. Pero Netanyahu está generando tanto dolor y tanta destrucción y tanto rencor en Gaza y en el resto de Palestina que la solución de los dos estados está en peligro, en serio peligro, de ser viable. Causing this wedge between you nations because he's getting ready to uh, gather you for this war that he's going to plead with you for the children of Israel's sake, which are the real true people uh, that, are, that, that you nations have scattered, all right, in captivity. Uh, this is uh, Joel 3, and uh, starting at 1, it says, For behold, in those days and in that time when I will... When I, sh when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, which right now is being trodden down of the Gentiles, the heathen. All right. Um, you have Idumia and, and a residue of the heathen. All right, that currently uh, have the Lord's land in, in possession. And, th and this is what, you know, they both two nations that really don't belong in that land, that it doesn't belong to neither, are fighting, you know, spilling blood over it. So ultimately, this was the plan of the Most High all along to cause this uh, friction between the nations over something that, you know, neither of them... Uh, can claim, you know, stake to. All right. And we're in, in, in the lands of our captivities, remembering ourselves and, and returning and coming back to the Heavenly Father. And we're awaiting our, our uh, deliverance in which, you know, we're going to be brought back to the land. But right now, it's meant for these nations to fight it out. You know, which is uh, we always been saying since this whole thing started that uh, we have no dog in this fight. All right. It says whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And, uh, you know, pretty much the division, they divided the land up among themselves. And I believe uh, this word, uh, chalak, it means to divide. <clears throat> to divide, share, plunder, a lot, a portion, a sign. And that's what the UN has, has has done in the past, and now you got these uh, European countries. These some of these countries are part of the beast, part of uh, the EU, and you know they're recognizing a, a, a Palestinian state. So you know they really believe in assigned land for you know both populations. You know you got the uh, the Arab population. You know some of them are Ishmael, some of them is Jake. And then you got uh, Amalek over there. It says to uh, divide a portion, to do, to assign, distribute. You know, so that's what they're actually doing. While the real true Israel, we're not uh, reckoned among the nations. <laughs> you know, we don't have a, a, a plight of land. You know, and even here in the States, you know, Jake been so accustomed to being Babylonians. They call themselves black Americans, foundational black Americans, etc. But uh, you forget you forget that you was uh, you were you were brought over here to serve captivity. You came over here on slave ships, not uh, cruise ships. And, and yeah, you was used to build this place up. But look, at, look at the Constitution. <laughs> you still not a human. Even in the Constitution, you know, you still don't have the same amount of rights that other groups, people groups have. 
So you're still in uh, your captivity. You're still yet this day in your captivity. And now they, they got um, immigrants in the country replacing you in your own communities. And, you, and you've been here the, this whole time. So, yeah, man. <clears throat> but for now, you know, going back over into the Holy Land, you know, the Lord got them uh, in conflict because the Lord is gathering them for, for war. All right, and we know that uh, Amalek is going to be the the ones that's going to draw everybody out for this war, because all those uh, Muslim Brotherhood countries, them Arab neighboring countries, you know, their hate is increasing for uh, Amalek over there. So it's only a matter of time before they start to really act. So let's uh, go back, finish this out. Kina er en støtte til moderate krefter som er på vikende front i en langvarig og grusom konflikt. Dette er en investering i den eneste løsningen som kan i varig fred i Midtøsten. Og det er en sterk... That's not gonna happen. This is, you know, this is their failed attempt to try to, you know, bring peace over there, but there ain't gonna be no peace. All right, because two of those nations don't belong over there anyway. All right. Now, one, let me get this. Because there's a time and purpose for everything under the sun. But right now, this is definitely not the time of peace. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. And I'm going to jump down to the point. That says, verse 8. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. And uh, right now, we're clearly in a time of uh, war, which is why the Lord is, uh, you know, putting that spirit, you know, between these nations to come to, to come against each other. Like the Lord gave the warning uh, to his disciples that, you know, nation shall rise up against nation and kingdom against get, uh, uh, kingdom against kingdom. He said there shall be wars and rumors of wars. All right. So this is what we're this is exactly what we're seeing. And let me get uh, this in Thessalonians. Because they're trying to uh, ensure uh, peace and, and security. But all that's going to happen is uh, more bloodshed, more war. Because uh, Russia and, and Ukraine, they're not going to turn down. Uh, China, they, they're, they're still trying to surround Taiwan. They can invade at, at any point. So they're not going to turn down. America, you Babylon is spread thin. They they got armies all over the place. And then right here within your own borders, it's about to be nothing but uh, turmoil, chaos, war, disturbance, uh, uh, um, the state of uh, disability, a uh, 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 disorder. So this is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. It says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Yeah, because we're watching constantly, like the scriptures tell us. All right? We're supposed to constantly be watching, you know, being vigilant. So <clears throat> this, the day is not going to come upon us, you know, like a thief. You know, it's not going to catch us unexpected. All right. And we're to watch while we're we watching, you know, for these prophecies, we're to report. All right. Give constant updates, go into these scriptures, give warning, especially to our people. You know, because because, you know, Jake can still repent. You know, while the doors of mercy are still open, but they're slowly but surely getting ready to close. So, you know, Jake has to definitely uh, be uh, admonished. So uh, going back. This is, uh, I guess, the spokesperson for uh, Spain. Opfordring to other lands to do the same as we do today. 
og anerkjenne Palestina, og med det sørge for at prosessen mot en totstatsløsning om sider kan komme i gang igjen og få ny kraft. All right, so you got Europe stepping in, and they, they're not siding with uh, Israel on this. And this is all spiritual. All right, that that uh, the beast is is starting to uh, shift away from the whore. They're divided on the decision dealing with uh, Israel. You got France back in uh, the ICC on the decision to uh, arrest this dude. Uh, Germany said if he steps foot in Germany, he's he's off the top. He's getting arrested. So America pretty much is is turning out to be the only real ally to them. And we're going to see how that ends up. France, Germany, you know, Norway, Ireland, you know, Spain, you got all these, you know, so basically the different heads of the beast, all right, they all are uh, not, they're not backing uh, America and their decision to help with uh, Israel, you know, because they see what's, what, what's, what it's causing. And the whole world is, is, is watching and paying attention. So this is going to cause more t tension between uh, the beast and the whore. Let's go to uh, Revelation 17 real quick. There's a uh, Revelation 17 in uh, verse 15. It says, and he said unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth are peoples. And multitudes and nations and tongues Talking about Babylon the Great The whore All nations is a melting pot It says And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast Thee shall hate the whore And shall make her desolate and naked So something's going to happen Where the tension is going to get that strong Between the west You know the, the, Basically the division The whore which is America and, and, and the beast, which is uh, the EU, NATO. And they're going to basically uh, turn against uh, America and they're going to shoot missiles. How else are, are, is uh, the beast going to burn the whore? How, how, how can that happen? Militarily, it would only make sense that they will use their firepower and turn it against America. And the Lord's going to put the spirit on them to do it. All right. And they already been at odds ever since this uh, Ukrainian a war with uh, Russia. You know, uh, the, uh, the EU had to take a lot of L's over that whole thing behind America's decision making. So they, they finna get tired and fed up with, with the war. And now look what, what, what their involvement with... Uh, the Israeli occupation in, in, in Palestine and what they're doing over there. And they're, they're not with it. And that's going to leave uh, them open <laughs> to, to uh, Iran and those uh, other Muslim countries. Because if they're not going to back them, if they're coming out and saying that we, we don't support that and we're recognizing a Palestinian state, then when shit... When it goes up and Iran wants to finally retaliate, Israel is going to be vulnerable and they're going to really need 
heavy backing from uh, uh, America because everybody else is starting to, to back off. This dude, uh, Satan, uh, Yahoo, he's doing too much, causing too much uh, carnage in, in the land. It's inhumane. So this is all causing further divide among these Edomites. All right. And that's how you know that, you know, the curtains get ready to close on them. Their kingdom is coming to an end. It says, And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, thee shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So America's going to be desolate, and the land of Israel is going to be desolate. Uh, I, uh, Jeremiah 49 and verse 20. Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord that he have, perp that he have taken against Edom and his purposes that he have purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. So that's how you know it's going to end with Babylon and Israel being made desolate. They're going to get burned with fire and the earth, the whole entire earth is going to uh, reel to and fro like a drunkard. All right. Earthquakes, mushroom clouds. Uh, 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 extreme burn burnings Radiation That's what it's going to end, end with That's going to be the end, the end of Esau's world But Esau is the end of the world And, and Jacob is the beginning that follows Alright and let me get this in a oh, but Matter of fact jump up yeah Jeremiah 49 and 14 it says I have heard a rumor from the Lord and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen saying gather ye together and come against her and rise up to the battle for lo I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men and hey even Esau's, uh, <laughs> Esau's despising his own they despising each other right now they're not in agreement with one another. So that hey, that, that that's a bad sign for them, but that's a good sign for us. All right. And may the Lord con continue to divide them up and, and add more uh, uh, conflict. So just want to uh, do a short video on this. And the uh, Lord willing, Yahweh edified, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, and to the next one, Shalom.